Hello, my name is Robin Mitchell, and in today's episode of Product of the Week, we will be showing off the almighty, the strong, the incredible Arduino Nano Every. The Arduino Nano is a great development board. It's small, it's light, and it's very capable. However, the Nano is an old design, and there are a number of features that could be improved on, with one being its price. The Arduino Nano Every is Arduino's answer to the dire need for upgrades on the Nano, making a number of fundamental changes while still keeping the board compatible with previous Nano projects. Besides the fact that this board works with the Arduino IDE and its associated libraries, which is awesome enough for me, it's amazing how many modern microcontroller boards are brought out that use some weird environment or require command line coding. I'm not gonna name any manufacturers, but you know who you are. The Nano Every also packs in a range of features that help engineers and makers maintain backwards compatibility, such as being five volt tolerant. These boards also have a reduced cost and an improved USB connector. In fact, most who currently use Nanos will find that transitioning from the Nano to the Nano Every is not only easy, but cheaper too, which is great for the little allowance that I am permitted to have as I have a bit of a spending problem when it comes to electronics. To start, the first feature that the Arduino Nano Every introduces is that it chucks out the older Atmega 328 for the Atmega 4809. This new microcontroller has the same AVR core as the Nano, but it integrates 50% more program memory and 200% more RAM. This allows for the Arduino Nano Every to handle larger programs and more variables. This reminds me of that god awful scene from Under Siege 2 where the guy's hacking a PDA and says a gigabyte of RAM should do the trick. The second important feature change is the number and type of peripherals included in the updated processor. While both contain timers SPI, UART, and I2C, the 4809 improves many of these peripherals and even includes new ones, such as a configurable custom logic unit with four lookup tables, basically a really, really tiny FPGA. The ability to operate TWI in both master and slave configurations simultaneously, one analog comparator, CRC code scanner to ensure program integrity and interrupts on all GPIO. Thirdly, the Nano Every does away with the USB serial bootloader and instead uses a dedicated microcontroller for programming the main processor. One advantage is that the programmer can be used both as a serial port and for debugging, but at the same time, it also allows for two hardware serial ports, which can be immensely useful. Finally, the single-sided construction of the Nano Every and probably some deals over dinner between Arduino and the makers of the Atmel MCU, don't really know for sure, but maybe that's what happened, has significantly dropped the price by around five to $6. This is a significant saving, and it's especially helpful for those who want to purchase these boards in bulk. In addition to all of this, the Nano Every has dropped the mini USB in favor of a micro USB-B. But personally, I would have liked to seen a USB-C. Maybe we will see one of these in the future, but the use of a micro USB-B still makes the board much smaller. Oh, and uh, let's not forget that this version comes with headers, pre-soldered. Undoubtedly, the Nano Every can be used in any and all projects that the Arduino Nano can be used in, minus the fact that the change in USB connector would require older projects to upgrade their connections. So, to start, the Arduino Nano Every is an ideal board for those looking to start with microcontrollers. While the Arduino Uno can also do all of this, providing pin headers to connect to other shields and wires, the Nano Every has soldered pin headers, which are compatible with breadboards. This makes integrating the Nano Every into other projects far easier. Another excellent use for the Nano Every is in portable devices that need to reduce weight as much as possible. The small size and weight of the Nano Every allow it to be discreetly added to projects such as remote control devices, remote IoT sensors, and even wearables. Of course, there are smaller boards out there, but the Nano Every is an excellent entry-level device to get started. The configurable logic unit with multiple lookup tables 
also makes the Nano Every an excellent option for those who need a microcontroller to react to fast logic signals without using code. Thus, the configurable logic block can be used to replace external discrete logic circuits and can help to create faster hardware. One such example where the configurable logic block can be used is with bit banging specific protocols such as NeoPixels. This does away with the need for software libraries or execution time. The Arduino Nano Every is the upgrade that everyone has been waiting for, and its lower price tag combined with the additional features over the Nano makes it a no-brainer. Hold up a second. Richard, this board, cheaper, easier to use, yeah? Understand? If you are convinced by my obviously good looks and charm and want to get yourself a Nano Every with pre-soldered headers, then jump over to the Electromaker store where you can get everything you could possibly need to make whatever your imagination can conceive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.